Glad to have you back on the program. It's still Daybreak Africa, and it's our Thank God It's Friday episode. Now, some of the things that have been trending online in the past uh, few days is the fact that we've seen a number of our celebrities, our uh, idolos, soliciting for funds online, funds to do um, a number of things. It could be to buy a car, it could be to get a house, it could be for education, it could be for travel, it could be for many and many and many reasons and they just come online solicit for funds and all of that and um this has become like uh it's gradually growing i wouldn't say it has become a habit but uh, a lot of people are picking it up and they are using that medium to raise cash for themselves now i want to talk about this where do we draw the line as fans or as the public should we help them i mean these people are supposed to be people that Many of us believe that they have money with them. So why do we have to raise funds to help them? Except it's for health issues. I, aside that, uh, every other part. We want to just talk about it. Where do we draw the line? Should celebrities even ask for this kind of funds in the first place? Because many are even expecting them to give back to the society. Probably as a corporate uh, social responsibility. Or any other thing you want to call it. Joining us to talk about it this um, this Friday morning is Clinton Ovunda. Good morning, Clinton. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome it's overrated. How are you doing? It's definitely not underrated. Yes. And it's not underrated. Can, can never be. <laughs> it's overrated. Can never be. <laughs> it's, you know, it's properly rated. Properly. Uh, yeah, it's properly rated. Rightly rated. rated. So probably I have to watch what I say. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, like I said before, we want to talk about celebrities soliciting for funds from fans and the public. Now, the first perspective I want to bring into this is the fact that celebrities are perceived as people who have money. In fact, when people see you on the road, I've had many scenarios where I met, met celebrities, maybe in the middle of the road, and someone just sees that, eh, that's from no, I said that car. Unless you just hear that voice from everywhere, boom, 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 yeah, boom. Yeah. hey, oh, God, this and that. They expect you to shower them money because you are an OAP. In fact, you don't need to be an actor or an artist or whatever. You just need to see you on TV. TV. <laughs> but you just That's need to be like Grace and Clinton. Oh, you know me, I'm not really. Okay. Both of Grace, them. Clinton, and Ricky. <laughs> both of you are the celebrities on the show. They yeah. have to just see it as that and they automatically believe that you, you have cash. money, you have cash. Now, um, for you as a person, yeah. and for Grace and for I, let's just be like for three of us, I want us to react to this. Do you see it as, um, I know we have our own personal experience, don't let your journalism experience influence, <laughs> your, influence your answer. No, definitely. Is it expected that uh, celebrities should uh, ask for these funds? Because uh, we've seen some of these celebrities, um, some Yoruba actors, some especially those who make um, village movies mm -hmm. both yoruba okay, iwo awesome. and Aosa, we've seen them and you find that where they are living is just you won't believe that it is this celebrity at least i know two i won't mention their name one is late now he was living in a one room apartment okay. till he passed mm. and it was very popular the other one was making english movies and till now he still strikes in, in on that particular street he doesn't have a car and he's very popular people know him he's like in fact this particular person i'm talking about is like a child icon for most of us mm. today he's someone with, that has been acting since maybe the 1990s and mm. there about people that started so yeah so when you see those things you now want to ask yourself should celebrities come out to solicit for funds for whatever reason Okay, okay. It's a question. Aside health. Mm -hmm. Let's question to me. I think they should. <laughs> yes, hundred percent. Because you know one thing. I hope you're not the presenter in either. No, 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 no. no that, that, that's what I always knew. Because <laughs> although I didn't know till I was a bit into the industry, that was mm. when I understood that most of our actors are broke. Mm. It's even, it was even worse for those of them we watched growing up. I mean, the ones yeah. that are coming now, they they're already they doing ways, finding ways, diverting ways, doing all that things. You know, endorsement. In those days, it wasn't so. I mean, Susu got an award uh, just the past MVC, as she said. It was difficult because then there was no means of internet and all mm -hmm. this kind of thing. It was you and you alone direct. Not now you can do so many things mobilely. Right. Then it was even more difficult. I mean, then most people were paid 10K, 20K. 
Thank you. Most of your star actors If you got that's a lot of money. Yeah. People got 5,000 naira. So, so some of these people were really popular, but they were broke. Broke. Mm. Dead beat. Because uh, they, they, they had, it's just one thing they'll teach you about this whole industry. One thing is being a celebrity or famous. One thing is converting that fame to money. Most yeah. of them did not know. And one thing is having I think money. that that's the major Another thing is having the yeah. money. After and I convert if it. You, if you start saying they shouldn't come out and ask, I mean, it happened. Most of them were dying in silence. Mm. Before people started shouting, please come out and talk oh, so we'll know if we can help you. Because mm. you know they're a celebrity. You thought you, you, all this while you were thinking they're doing well, but they're doing really bad. Wow. So wow. please, I don't want to tell anybody, come out and talk. As long as you're not using us to speak, well. as long as it's not someone like I mean, yeah, there, there was going to be there because let's let, 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 let's okay. straighten it out. I mean, just like our singers make a lot more, a lot more money right. than our right. actors, like right. the music producers, the singers, all those mm -hmm. people, because in their kind of business, it is you and you, and maybe you and two persons. Unlike movie that is you and a hundred people. Yes. Yes, and you have to share. You and two hundred cars. That's why it's like mm -hmm. that. Not like it doesn't make money, but that's that's the situation. But for uh music stars and all these people, I mean, they are making their own money. It doesn't mm -hmm. affect them. Mm -hmm. The video came out and asked, and we took it as a joke. Mm -hmm. One one million, and he raised and did what he wanted to yes. do. But when it comes to an Hollywood actors, they are the ones that we know now that okay, yes, these ones are doing well. I mean, why would you come and ask from people if you're doing well? Mm. But but um, you mentioned something. Okay, let me allow Grace. Yeah, to I, 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 that I agree with I Clinton. Continue. You need to ask. We, we mentioned it earlier. You know, earlier during the show that your business or you as a person, you, you are different from your business. Mm -hmm. Now, the person is an actor and actress, and he as a person doesn't have any money. I don't think that there's. You come out as a normal human. Normal human. I, I not feel, as, feel not as your brand. Like okay, I, I know this person and I'm okay. actually because for, because, normal because I wouldn't want to be teaching you how to make money friends. with your fame. Mm -hmm. So I'll just tell you if you're in trouble. I feel that ask. even if you are, in you might not be asking for money. Ask for someone to teach you how to use your face fame. to make the money. To make the money. I feel that even if you are Elon Musk or you are Jeff Bezos, you can get broke at any time. Any time. Sure. Uh, we saw that happen with Jeff Bezos. It was was richest man in the world, and with just one divorce, he dropped down to number three. I think at the time before he, his business I shut mean, up so again. Maybe. So you find that um, a lot of these uh, actors, they are going through a lot, and a lot is going through them. Mm -hmm. And like uh, Clinton said in the early days of uh, what's it called entertainment, the entertainment industry. There wasn't that much money. I remember mm -hmm. that uh, there was a time that King Sonia Day had to complain that if not for his influence as a prince, it was difficult because in you know those days you have to go with your band, mm -hmm. the instruments, you rent instruments, you rent all of these things, and then you are invited for a show. And then the person who invited you, the host, does not want to even pay you because it feels like, what's it? This person is seeing it's enough money now. Mm -hmm. I can still cheat him. He has sang already. There's nothing I can do about it. You can't take back what you've done now let's uh on this uh particular um thread of uh soliciting for funds is there a point where we get to draw the line yeah mm. definitely for example i know that for health reasons in most cases people usually need money mm -hmm. no matter how rich you are because they've also have the, they have their engagements they have the family members they have the project they have house friends and all of that for health issues it's quite it's quite understandable but when someone is starting to ask you for money for a car cosmetic surgery <laughs> a car might still be understandable. i mean has anybody done that yet no i'm just saying just <laughs> as a in my imagination if someone is asking you money for okay i want to look better you know i'm this and that and I don't think I would even budge for that. I but I think know. Grace feels like a car is over the board. I, 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 I think, yes, my opinion, I think that even, you know, having solicit money for a car or for um, a house is also, you know, overrated. Like, why mm. do you have to do that? The best you can do when it comes to, you know, asking people for funds is to, you know, ask for, um, when it comes to health reasons or mm -hmm. medical reasons, basically. We know this is a matter of life and death. Right. And then many people would feel more emotion towards mm -hmm. that. But then come as to ask for a car. <laughs> but still, it, 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 still, it depends on who is asking. Okay. Why should it depend I mean, on you know who, who is asking? You, a doji, cannot come out today and be soliciting for money for car, and I'll take him seriously. Wait, but then you, you mentioned something coming. about um, Davido coming out. He said he, he exactly. actually said that it was a joke, but then he, he went on. He went on. No, 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 he didn't come out to beg. He was, he he was like, "Give me a better gift. I've, I've influenced your life somehow. So give me a better gift, gift of one million. Gift. That was okay. a different case. Isn't that a way of you know getting money into your account? I mean, it's not wrong. That's why I said depending on who. It's not wrong. We all know that. First of all, the video can afford millions of these things. Why is he doing these things? So people that are loyal to him, 
Is, I don't think that was about fans. Thinking. That was about friendship. He never said my fans should send. Mm -hmm. He said all my friends in this industry that have helped, have touched your life somehow, send. So, and I did not see any fan coming out, except the ones overdue fans. Yeah, well, too, yeah. And they have a lot of money. I mean, there are fans. People come out of Bibi Naja, you buy them car. Nobody no, has not even overdue. There are people that they do. That do they that. They spend 1,000 mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. I remember that just did something like that. Some people said 15 years. So, so, what David what, what said was my friends in this industry. Friends in the industry. Not my fans. But then fans would also look, you know, see themselves as friends in the industry. No, actually, actually, as a fan, see yourself as actually, a fan. Actually, yeah, yeah. We wouldn't want to separate anything. You know, when we talk about fan base, you know that many times people want to, you know, always attach themselves to familiarize themselves with, you know, mm. the, 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 but, the, but the funny thing is, the funny thing is, if you should have that one million to send, that means you're not even a small boy. If you can spare that one million, right. that means you're not even a small boy. Right. I mean, most people right now on social media, when they start talking about how they started making money, it was people first of all telling them, I like what I saw, take this one, add to yourself. Before that person go give you get enough, before you appreciate you. Right? <laughs> That's the truth. A random broke person will not be thinking of how to empty his account and appreciate mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I, do, I think, though, that um, there should be a line drawn. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like there are. A lot of ways to make money as an entertainer. S sorry, the, the I, sorry. Now. I feel like where that line should be drawn is what's happening on TikTok right now. Okay. Mm. Follow for follow. Send me gifts. Gift a gift. Send me mm. gift. Two gift. Three gift. Thank you very much. Follow my gift. I think that's the highest. Follow my begging. begging. Follow my begging right one. now. <laughs> follow my I think that's one. the highest begging system now, and it's so funny because I go online. Do and you know, are sending me this. I'm doing that. I didn't mean, follow my gift. I'm not just on TikTok. They do it on Popo. They do it on um, TikTok. Who the they do it hell? On, um, big big go. Even Facebook Live. Now we can give gifts. Wow. Stars. Mm. So what are we talking about? So crazy. But the, the funniest is, are we just? I'm just scrolling through my through TikTok and I'm just seeing one of our popular celebrity. Even the so-called influencers. Even the influencers. That. Do you know why I don't even talk about influencers? Because them, obviously, this is where they're making their money. But. So the I, celebrities are trying to be. I feel like too. they've exactly um, this generation have taught most celebrities that have the fame but don't know how to use it. Now we are, they are learning how to use how it. How to use it? Like because I mean, skit makers are you put them on the top filmmakers, entertainers now. They are right. making money than most singers. Than most, yeah. Yeah. When you talk of skit makers, when you talk of um, punk doers, all those funny yes, things. Yes. Now celebrities are now moving using that face, and lots of them have been making it real. They're not collaborating. Most of his money is not from movies. They're not collaborating with, 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 with skit makers to appear on the skit and just. Mm -hmm. Cash out and make sure. Even this Zibo guy that does Arun or somebody it was an actor I've always known in these Asaba movies. But he had the face. Now he started creating content. It's so popular. And now it becomes it's, popular. It's I, okay, I'm okay, um, talking about you know older Nollywood actors, and we see that they are the ones mostly that come out to solicit for funds to say, okay, I need yeah. this, I need that, because um along the years, 20 years, 30 years after you know the fame had you know has passed already, nobody rem remembers them, and because mm. of that, they are just you know wallowing in. Poverty or whatever, and, whatever. And they didn't really know how to use you know, it then. Isn't there, you know, it's Nollywood, it's mm -hmm. a union, it's an association. Okay. Shouldn't there be something like, you know, probably um, a, a, not, a maybe a, a fund, mm -hmm. a fund base where they can, you know, just access? Because it's a union. But and you don't have some kind of should, let me, let me right? Let everybody let me can say, so, okay, you are not, you know, doing so well. Then we can give you this amount. But they of fight money. too much. Yeah. yeah. This is one <laughs> thing that happens in Nollywood. Nollywood, first of all, is not just like a cooperative or a company. Nollywood is if you make a movie now and go and sell it and they watch it in this thing, you're in Nollywood. Mm. So people make the mistake you think it's supposed to be a company it's or a, it's nobody's it's holding you. If you call a group of people and make a they good come movie, and go. they are all passers by. If you make a good movie right now and bring it together, nobody cares where you bring your crew for. And the you movie is up to standard, and you sell it in there. They maybe maybe you want to do it home videos or cinema levels. You are in Hollywood. You're in Hollywood actor. You're in Hollywood film, pro film producer, film director. Uh -huh. That's what it is. So you cannot hold anybody. It's just they have a union, though. But not so many people go through that union. Mm. Mm -hmm. And even in Hollywood itself, it's quite it's so, quite divided. Mm -hmm. You there, there are some Yoruba actors. Yeah, yeah and all these things, things that, together. Uh, in the north, in fact, they have their own. The, that's the thing. Uh, so uh, where, where can you where can you raise this one from? So what are we talking? The only about? thing you can say is them helping themselves, the ones that have. But mm. most times, before they come out to the public. Things have gone sour. Mm. Okay, let's talk about the fans. Now, I know that there are um, celebrities who come online to solicit funds for fun. Don Jazzy does that. On, um, he has done that before. Yeah. The video has, like we mentioned earlier. Now, 
what people have observed, for example, on Twitter and Instagram, is that when a celebrity comes out to say, oh, I need funds for this, I need mm -hmm. funds, there are some people that will give, hoping that the person is just catching crews. <laughs> because we've seen, I, I think I've seen a scenario where someone sent 50 naira to Don Jazzy, and mm. Don Jazzy was like, ah, 50 naira. Yeah. They quoted the tweet and sent him 100k. Mm. And then people started sending 200 naira, sending 100 naira. <laughs> he had to tell them to stop, <laughs> stop, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> So people often, people who don't have money, fans who don't have money, but just want to feel among, mm -hmm. and due to that, maybe the last one key. That they have. Yeah. I mean, I feel, I feel like that. You send it to a celebrity. <laughs> Someone that uh, probably, that has more than enough. I don't, no, let's say they, since we are uh, putting all celebrities in one box, that probably has more than enough. Please, on which account do we put this? I mean, th th that, that's fans? on the head of the fan. Not the celebrity. Yeah, I know that's why I said we're talking about the fans now. It's just, it's just like this thing that, that happens with big boy Niger um, um, contestants. Whenever they come out, they are group like their followers. Group. Mm -hmm. And you see people yeah, contributing money, money like contributing money to buy him a new car. Someone that buy him this, this inside the buy him that. that. And now you see where it's funny. There are some people that do this thing. I mean, you don't know, but some people have money. Right. There are people that they are doing this thing freely, it's not affecting them. Right. I mean, just like um, the Cubana brothers, mm -hmm. when some persons come out, he gives them car. He mm -hmm. doesn't feel it. Right. But and most of these brother, fans that are broke, broke him, uh, he, he does that, yes. He, he does it. He gives away to celebrities. Uh, Cubana does it. David Joseph gives out. On the, on the so when these kind of people are like, maybe they are part of your followers, or maybe on that platform, they'll be like, okay, you're coming out. Obviously, so many people that are going, they are going to start their career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have no money, no house, nothing. Mm -hmm, so yeah. they might just say, okay, let me appreciate with this guy because one thing is so people that come out there the pressure is too much because now you're a celebrity nobody cares if you're broke mm -hmm. oh, no, nobody you just have to meet up you to just have to meet up to yeah if they invite you to an event you have to show up with your <laughs> security <laughs> so you see this all these things are money so sometimes people that have this money already just freely give it but there are some of us the Judas is Carlos. You are broke, and you know you don't think. You know, you you know, have this money. You, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, what is what is thinking in your head? Clinton, hold on, <laughs> give me a minute. There was a point I saw a guy on Twitter. I think I can't remember the celebrity that solicited for funds. Well, no, he didn't solicit for funds. He just posted his account number. My people should drop something for me, and people started dropping. And this guy sent, I think, two thousand naira. After sending the two thousand naira. He now posted the receipt and said, This is my last card that I'm sending to you. <laughs> Kindly help me with something. I'm like, why, why, why did you have what, to send what, it to what what end? Why did you send I think, it? I think that, that's bet I just came in. <laughs> 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 that money was a bet. <laughs> I'll bet it's okay, so you give me 200. Oh, I mean, that, that was a bet. He wasn't sure. He was like, This guy might have a skill, so let me it's just. It's insane. Put it. He even posted it with his account balance, so you see that he has 0 0.96 copper. Oh. And Imagine. you're I'm wondering, to what end? What are you trying to achieve? <laughs> I mean, that's a snap. Eventually, he did not even notice. The celebrity did not notice. There was another one that I think it was John Jazz that had to comment. I, I don't send you this one, no. <laughs> yes, now, you will not find that people just. Throw their own lives under the bus because that's true. Your life, I don't have last two K. I don't have last two K. Are you expecting me to give? Eh? I mean, I, I was. You must be an actual be beggar for me to give you the money. Trying to defend, you know, trying to defend the fan base or different celebrities. Protecting your celebrities yes. to show yes. that they have influence. They can, they, most times, fans go all the way out. They can really do an. Uh, no, I think that's extremism. Uh, when it comes to those things, I mean, when I see people being fans like that, I, I yeah, wonder favorite. because I cannot be a fan like that. I it's don't, I like, have not met any celebrity I had to scream. I've not met any celebrity I'm so eager to scream. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I'm not that yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We I don't move. Even when I was really, uh, when I was still kind of a little into movie, I just like I've been on a Netflix show with more than twenty stars, and I did not take a picture with one. Although there are pictures I took when I was picture videoing, like snapping the sets, but no picture. Like it doesn't move me. So when I see people do this thing, I'm like, what is what is that? thinking what is for you? What, what is thinking for you? For you? Mm. Why would I uh, do something to uh, exactly? I just remember this one that happened. One, I think, just related relating to what you were saying. One girl was crying on social media that she gave this untouchable comedy that's been trending. That uh, he met her and he asked her for money and he gave her gave him the last whether twenty k or ten k. That he, she and her child have been hungry. That her child's school fees is there. Like, what is wrong? What exactly? According to her, she said she thought it was supposed to be a prank. 
and that they will double it. And many times, because it does have been trending. Because that one has been trending. These pranksters go to the streets. They tell you, okay, give me. You know, I, I find it very ridiculous that you, you as a prankster, you go out to the street and ask people, okay, give me the, what you are eating. Give me the last cash you have in your account. Just in the name that, okay, I would double the money. You create a force of hope to those people, image. and then you're like, oh, if I give this person this money, then I think that I should be able to. I think that one should get be arrested. Back, you know, in double fold or something. <laughs> I mean, you want to arrest them for? They should be arrested. <laughs> yes, if if it's on record that you said you would double the money. No, they don't say it. They'll be like, it's just like checking what if you know? show an act of kindness, yes, then think. they will not bless you. I can't okay. I so that thing is giving me false hope. I think the misconception comes yes. with those who are who had who started their own skits with genuinely showing yeah. out of kindness. Because I've seen skits where people go out and say, okay. Just give me something from your cart, uh -huh. and when you give them that, and they just give you an envelope of ten thousand dollars, exactly $1, things $1. like that. So those genuine ones are not. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, that's sad. Not, not, that's not, really sad. About, um, the pressure that celebrities face, you know, having to look all glam. They can't. They can't step out of their house with you know their bare face. They have to look very very posh and classic, and this puts them you know in a kind of you know pressure. There's this pressure that comes with it. Okay, I must look. I must look. I must you know look very um very beautiful for the camera. And because of that, many times they do not have this money, and they have to find ways or means to you know to fund their fund this kind of lifestyle. So should um entertainment should the entertainment industry be that kind of you know be that kind of look like everybody you must look good you must you must have you know snatched waist you must wear all your the standards uh, are you, there, you know, there are so many standards that, that has to do with I mean, so much spending, spending so much money so yeah yeah what's your um, um about my that? take on that firstly i think um it, it's supposed to be like that but to an extent firstly you you being a celebrity you cannot live your normal life Hmm. That is just the what truth. Normal life? Hold on, what I'm coming. I'm coming. You cannot. Okay, let me not say your normal life because some some people the way they are celebrities are they are at home, mm -hmm. so there are people like that. But what I mean is, you can't look the way you want to look in public. You can't act the way you want to act in public. You can't talk the way you want to talk in public. Because I mean, there are times people would even approach you, and the way you're feeling right now, you don't want to talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. But you still find yourself because you don't want your fans to come and say he's a wicked. Mm -hmm. You yeah, just smile to the slow. camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And anyone that says no, they tag him. He's very proud. So you see that being a celebrity takes away lots of privileges, a lot of things you you would enjoy as a normal person, mm -hmm. you, especially mm -hmm. in Nigeria. You cannot just walk normally on the street. That's why soliciting online always looks normal. And I, I mean, if you, if you're that famous, they might stampede you. <laughs> That's the truth. Before they realize you're gone, you're gone out of fan love, right? So, there are things that it takes away from you, and most of these things require money to keep it. I mean, you can't walk in the streets because they might stampede you or they might kidnap you. Mm -hmm. So, you bring security and you're paying them, hmm. I, I and a lot of other things that take money. So, there are things that come with the lifestyle. Mm. So, I think the better thing to preach is don't just think about just uh, being a popular face, think mm -hmm. of how to convert that popular face to money that the will money. keep you in that popular face because mm. it's not just about being a popular face and you don't think about the money angle and when you start running to trouble you start begging fans or begging friends i mean you're the celebrity i think many people many people don't understand the business of entertainment they know, okay there's a point there's a business part to everything to so everything so, so basically everything you can even see presenters that also make money from you from know being from being a presenter, being a presenter. Mm. So, that they, that's so many times people do not they just feel like oh, i'm popular and it's you know at the end of the when the eyes is like when they're finally in that popular state they realize that the eye don't clear the eye don't clear you real, they realize that oh popularity is not what there are doing. lots of things it takes away from you and they don't Fame know how to is go about different it. from wealth and 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 that's one thing with most of our, most of our celebrity um celebrities they will keep saying, I'm a human firstly. You didn't think that you're a human before you wanted to be a celebrity. <laughs> no, it but, takes away lots of things from you. No, you can't take away their No, no, I know you can't take away their celebrity, but I cannot say, okay, let me use someone like Tuto Dike. She has come out to say something that she's hot tempered. Mm -hmm. For the fact that you signed up to be a celebrity, you cannot be that hot tempered because you cannot slap your fans and say, that is how I am. Mm. Right. You have a valid point. It will take away lots of things from you. You will be so hot. If you're, if you're an online person, you will fight on the road. Mm -hmm. But you're a celebrity, you will just let that person walk away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. And I feel that um, this is also the reason why it becomes difficult for celebrities to come online to solicit funds. In fact, when you find a celebrity who comes online to solicit funds, it's, that it's actually a bold <laughs> exactly. and brave move. move. Because in most cases, they've been enduring for years. 
and some for 15 20 years and they're just bottling it and keeping it in hoping that okay it's going to get better one day it's going to get better one day. on that note we'll call this episode a wrap thank you so much for joining us thank again. you Welcome. so much all right viewers that's how far we can go on today's episode of daybreak africa we'll go on a quick break now when we return the program continues <laughs>